another way to uh, scroll through your keyframes and everything is uh, the J and K button will uh, move between uh, keyframes. So that is very useful. The page up and page down button on your keyframe will move, or on your keyboard, I mean, will move. Page down moves it forward one frame, page up moves it back one frame. So that way you can get really precise. Hold shift and hit page down, you'll go up 10 frames. Shift page up will go back 10 frames. If you need really, really precise um, um, keyframes, you can zoom in really far and then you can see where each keyframe or where each frame is and then you can go frame by frame if you really need to and sometimes you might I've used it this way before and it's uh, pretty useful and then you can just uh, either use this up here to zoom back out or use this again to zoom back out down here Either or. Oop, gotta zoom out, not in. Now, um, also, if you have this twirled down and you need to find all your keyframes, if you hit U, it will show all your um, animated values. If you hit U, U twice in suc succession, really quick. Um, it'll show all the changed values. So if I change, oh well. Another tip will to will be to how to add a keyframe in the middle of something when you don't want to actually change the value, you just want to add a keyframe, maybe you want to edit later or something like that. You can click on this button here, which shows like a little diamond. Click on it and it'll add a keyframe. Instead of, and, and if you don't want to use the J and K buttons to uh, move to keyframe to keyframe, you can click on these arrows here. But it's faster to use J and K, um, unless you're already over here. So, you can leave that keyframe in there. If you use, if you switch to the pen tool, pressing G, or coming up here, going to the pen tool, you can add points on the motion path at uh, keyframes. When it turns into a plus, if you see, you can see right now uh, the the icon is just a pen, and now it's a pen with a plus. And as you see, I added another keyframe in there, and it is down here in the bottom. So that's a quick, that's an overview of how to edit your keyframes and there are more ways to edit your keyframes in different types of keyframes and other things that we'll be going over in a later tutorial but for now it's about time we head out. Um, I gotta go catch a fish fry down at my, the local Legion and uh, the Penguins and versus New York Rangers hockey game is on, so I'll be watching that also. And uh, I think Bucky is at one of the at that hockey game right now. So wish his team luck, and hopefully you guys know which one it is. I'm not gonna tell you. You'll have to figure it out or ask him. So have a good one, guys.